Hey, welcome to a new series of videos where we're going to be making 25 cutting boards of increasing difficulty levels in terms of the build. Now the first one's a bit too easy, so we're not going to get into that, and it's definitely not going to count. Let's start with the most classic of cutting boards. We're talking about an edge grain cutting board, single species with European ash. The first step is to cut some boards from a nice piece of ash and plane them down to the right thickness, and then join them using the jointer. Then you have to cut them to size, the objective being to put three 10 cm parts together to make 30 cm by 40 cm boards. So I cut them 40 cm long, it's basically the equivalent of a 12 by 16 board, which is a very nice size. The next part is to glue them up, and once that's done, sand them down until the face is nice and flat. Note that I also need to raise the grain with water and sand it back down again so that the cutting board doesn't degrade too fast over time with water. The next step is adding chamfers to it for purely aesthetic reasons using the router table. Now considering my jig for making a juice groove is much worse than expected, I decided to go another route. Get it? Because it's a router. Anyways, I just went ahead and used my CNC for it, which I didn't film, but you will see it for the other boards in this video. I'm keeping the finish for last because that's the best part, so moving on, board number two. Board number two is a very simple strips cutting board, also edge grain, and I repeated the process of the first board by cutting strips of Paduk, Ash, and Sipeli. I'm not showing everything since I had to join them as well, etc., but to keep the video interesting, I will only show you the good parts. For the glue up, I decided to go for five sections, three of which are beach with a Sipeli strip, and two of which are Paduk with a Sipeli strip as well. I used a chisel to remove the excess glue, but honestly, any card scraper would be better. The next step is to sand it down just like the others and finish it by adding that nice 30 degree chamfer that I like so much on the top and the bottom. Now this time I recorded the Drew's groove with the CNC so you can finally see it. Again I'll show you the finish at the end of the video. Now moving on to the third board which is by far my favorite of this video, I decided to go with Ash and Purple Heart. For this one I actually prepared two separate identical boards, one made with Ash and one with Purple Heart. And once that's done, I cut equal strips into both boards in order to switch them and get a nice two-strip inlay in each board with the opposite board's wood, and glue them up. Now here comes the fun part. Now I tip the board on the table saw at about 20 degrees to make that cross cut, and still, you know, there's a lot of work involved here because I also have to join everything, etc. But once that's done, I can finally switch the two parts that I just cut off and glue the board one last time. And once the glue is fully cured, I can sand everything down again, add my usual finishing touches, so the chamfer on top, the chamfer on the bottom, and that includes making a groove with the CNC. But this time, I use my highly fashionable 3D printed CNC dust shoe to avoid making a mess like the first time, and now is where it gets interesting because I can finally finish them properly. First I put the purple heart out in the sun for UV exposure, and once it has a nice purple color, I can finally oil the boards. Now I'll let you enjoy that for a minute, and also once oiling is complete, it's possible to finish them with a mixture of beeswax and oil to seal the surfaces and preserve them longer. So this is the end result, three boards, one classic and two a little bit original that I think look amazing. Despite them being only in the first three levels of difficulty, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. These boards take about one, one and a half and two hours respectively to make and if you're interested, they are available to buy on my website. So I hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to click on that bell to subscribe and I will see you soon for the next episode.